Hi, future researchers. I welcome you all in uh, my lecture on how to write your research proposal. I'm Dr. Mukesh Parik, and uh, you know, writing a research is very important. But before that, before a DRC meeting, you are supposed to present a research proposal. And there have been a constant challenge in front of students of uh, research, like how to write a research proposal. So here, I'm going to help you in that. Why it is important, first of all, research proposal? Because it is used to establish whether there is expertise to support your proposed area of research or not. Suppose you want to write on apocalyptic fi fiction, you want to write on post-colonial fiction, you want to research on, say, Dalit literature, you want to research any, anywhere. So have you had some work, have you done some work earlier, or uh, you have just you know, taken something from here and there, and uh, it is a fleeting phenomenon? So they check it, whether you have collected the complete data or not, or say, latest books or not. That's why they want to check whether there is an expertise or not. So this is the first point. Second point is it forms part of the assessment of your application. They assess you, your application, you know, whether there is, an, uh, there is a research aptitude or not. The third one is the research proposal you submit as part of your application is just the starting point. Don't consider that it is a synopsis. It's just a proposal. Clear? Might be rejected as well. Okay. So a part of a part of your application is just the starting point. As your ideas evolve, your proposed research is likely to change. What I want to say here, because in the very beginning, when as a researcher you have come up with an idea, but then you start reading day by day, day by day, you know, you will come across different libraries, different books, different seminars, you will go in different, uh, you know, symposiums, and then your ideas will evolve. And they, there you might change your ideas like, okay, I would shift from this topic to that topic, or I will add these writers or these books, okay, it should be 2000 to 350 words, it depends upon universities, it varies, I have seen because many students come to me that sir, kindly help us with our proposal. And I've seen that, you know, for example like recently in for Rajasthan University there was a, a, an interview and the, they asked for 1500 words research proposal okay so it varies okay so don't worry about it third one is title how many things are there what title should be very clear and it, it, it tells about your know, proposal its research approach your key question uh, like what you want to convey. For example, like the, the title should be catchy, it should include literary jargon. Literary jargon means like when I talk about, like suppose I teach you something uh, and I say post-colonialism, suppose I say post-apocalyptic, suppose I say formalism, suppose I say problematize, suppose I use the word argues. It means these, these are called, you know, literary jargon of literature, clear? Post-modernism, queer theory, post-feminism, you cannot exactly say LGBTQ community. You, you should say like, you know, th this uh, topic falls in the category of queer theory. So I hope you understand the point that the title should be catchy. It should have literary jargon. If you don't have literary jargon, it means you are not a part of the research community. Background and rationale. Background everybody knows, but rationale is a word which might be new for some of you. Rationale means logically you have to prove that what is the point before you're uh, you know taking this subject the background and issues of your proposed research why you want to do research why this idea has come to you what you came across identify your discipline you know whether it falls in post colonial studies or it falls in sociology or it falls you know in feminism you have to a certain make it sure that it falls in a particular discipline it should not be a com combination of three four five you know different uh, literary movements otherwise you won't be you know your your research will be you know spread it, it will be not pinpointed a short literature review should be there what have you read? What has already been written? How many books on criticism are there? How many greater critics are there? Famous critics are there? You should mention them. Summary of the key debates and developments. What has already been said? Because you are coming up with the proposal. Proposal means to say you are proposing in front of the DRC meeting, in front of those intellectuals. Like I would 
do the work where you know these writers or these critics have left unfinished then the summary of the key debates then the third point is research questions what you ask and then how you answer them you should formulate these clearly what you are asking giving an explanation as to what problems and issues are to be explored and why they are worth exploring so this is what i have been already talking about that if you are talking about feminism suppose or supposed feminism you you have taken a novel from indian uh, you know literature and then you are doing a post feministic study they will laugh on you because india has even not achieved feminism no egalitarian exist there is no equality among women and men in india and then you are talking talking about you know post feministic issues it means you should be clear with literary theory and your you know things the areas of research you want to pursue fourth is research methodology how how will you do that what is what will be your method you should provide an outline i will go to the library i will go, take these research tools i will write them i will you know uh, analyze them i will uh, theoretical resources will be there uh, what will be my research approach how will i reach the topic how will i handle the topic a discussion of advantages as well as limits of the particular approaches and methods i will not uh, uh, you know limit myself to the hard copies of books i will go to the internet libraries also i will go to the social media also it means your methodology should be clear like you know from different sources how will you collect material and how will you incorporate these materials in your research and the most important part of a research proposal that they mostly see and check and that shows your worth as a research scholar is bibliography you should include bibliography means the whole list of books it doesn't mean that you know if you write a bibliography this means like suppose there are say 200 books it doesn't mean that you have read all the 300 200 books it means there are these are the most important books written in this particular suggested area okay so a list of references to key articles and texts discussed within your research proposal if you have res done research on them if you have taken certain points from them you should mention them in the bibliography apart from that there are certain books which you have not cons uh, consulted you should also give you know place there in the bibliography a selection of sources appropriate to the proposal research this is something not very important because you know obviously uh, you have must have gone to the internet or the other different sources from where you must have collected or you must have got the idea so that's it uh, for today regarding research proposal thank you very much